So this is one of those off-season stories where you can hype up your own guy and you can poo-poo on arrival. So it's beautiful, man. And Justin freaking Jefferson has done the damn thing uh, through the first three years of his career. 4,825 yards receiving, 17 bajillion receiving records, as well as roughly, give or take, as well as uh, named last year's Offensive Player of the Year and MVP finalist. But what's really interesting is... It speaks to the amazingness of Jefferson and the ineptitude of the Bears, especially when it comes to the forward pass. So uh, Jordan uh, Dejani over at CBS points this out. Vikings Justin Jefferson just 235 yards away from passing rival Bears all-time leading receiver, which is just delicious. Absolutely delicious, man. So diving on into this, uh, this is the Bears' all-time receiving list. Uh, up at the top is someone named Johnny Morris, who played from 1958 to 1967 as a flanker. I, I wish they would bring back um, position names like that, like flanker, nose guard, all that stuff, man. Wing back, fine. But uh, Johnny Morris, uh, over his illustrious, what was it, 12, 13-year career, nine I'm really good. At, again, I'm the only Asian who's bad at math. So nine-year career, uh, and he posted just over 5,000 yards. Jefferson at 48.25 would be two, and then you have Harlan Hill, and then you got Alshon. Woo! I mean, Alshon you know, spent five years in Chicago, but they weren't even his best years. But anyways, uh, Walter Payton is actually their <laughs> number four receiver. <laughs> Wait, no. Hold on. This is amazing. So... Of their top five receivers, you have one receiver from the modern era. You have two receivers from some jabroni bygone era. Yeah, number four is a running back, and number five is a, t- a tight end in Ditka, which is just, <laughs> which is just amazing. And then, all right, so you got Curtis Conway, respect, uh, Marty Booker, Willie Galt, Gal- uh, Ken Cavanaugh. Yeah, Forte in there at seven. So your top ten receivers list, you have two r- running backs and a tight end. That's just great. Allen Robinson is in there. Allen Robinson played for the Bears for like two seconds, and his quarterback was Mitchell Trubisky Ponder, yet he's number 11. Hmm. Uh, Brandon Marshall is on there. Uh, let's see here. Wendell Davis. Bobby ooh, Bobby Ingram from back in the day. Devin Hester is on here. Devin Hester didn't even, was barely a receiver, right? No, Devin Hester was a cornerback by trade. He was also a punt returner, and then they just tried to utilize him on offense. It never really took, but he's still 21st on their all-time receiving list with 2,800 receiving yards. Neil Anderson, another running back, is on here. Uh, another 10. Oh, Marcus Rod. So I extend this down to 24 because I wanted to get Vikings legend Marcus Robinson on here. Now, I could have extended it further and got Vikings legend Bernard Berrien on here as well, but I, I, I digress. But, yeah, the, the whole, uh, again, the whole point is the Bears – have struggled with the concept of the forward pass ever since Teddy Roosevelt made that a thing from back in the day. Uh, but also it speaks to the dominance of Justin Jefferson. Like he's lapping entire team's histories within the first three years. I mean, Jefferson, he's got 235 yards. Jefferson is going to have this thing in the bag by week two minimum. Hell, maybe week one uh, if, he, if he's got a big surprise there. But uh, it's just... Again, it speaks to the ineptitude of the Bears, and it speaks to the greatness of Jefferson. And also, if you look at the Vikings' all-time receiving list, again, this is how good Jefferson is. So the Vikings, they got some notable receivers on here. So Chris Carter, Anthony Carter, uh, Randy Moss, of course. Adam Thielen is number four, respect. Uh, Jake Reed, like like we said, Jake Reed is underrated. The Vikings didn't have a need at receiver in 98 when they took Randy Moss because Jake Reed was a very solid number two. Sammy White, Steve Jordan, the tight end legend, respect. Ahmad Rashad, NBA inside stuff. Woo, let's go. Diggs is number 10. It's great. And then Jefferson is already at nine. So, so Stephon Diggs was here for five years, right? And Jefferson has surpassed him in three years, which I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying uh, sort of deal. And – I mean, Chris Carter, you know, made his bones here, played 11 years uh, for the Vikings after coming over from the Eagles, you know, 12,000 receiving yards. Jefferson is going to have that by what year seven, somewhere there <laughs> roughly. It seems like that's how, that's where it's going. But also on this list, so Rudy is 11, uh, Hassan Jones, Percy Harvin at 13. Percy Harvin's here for two seconds. And, and also he was, board, he was a borderline running back and he's still at number 13. Uh, Gilliam, Boom Boom, Bill Brown, the freaking fullback is on here. Chuck Foreman, Ted Brown, Shanko. Woo. Love it, man. It's good times. Uh, but again, this is just hilarious to me. It's a anecdotal one-off sort of, of throwaway stat, but the fact that Jefferson, in, in short order, is going to surpass the all-time receiver in the Bears list, it just, again, speaks to 
uh, the lack of keeping solid players around, and number two uh, speaks to their ineptitude throwing the ball down the field. Yeah, so Bears fans are just like this. I mean, even now that they have a franchise quarterback in Justin Fields, they still can't throw the ball. <laughs> Was just hilarious, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Justin Jefferson is 235 yards away from being the Bears' number one all-time receiver. Woo! It's good times. Good times. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.